What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Iron Mango, and today I am bringing you episode 6 of my Pokeballers Pixelmon Island series. Last episode we caught Zapdos to give to a very beautiful Mango subscriber, and I guys hope, and I hope that you guys really enjoy this new beautiful, crisp voice of the Iron Mango. That is because I got a new microphone guys, there's a little bit of staticness I know, but that is just because my computer makes a lot of noise, it makes a, a boatload of noise. Oh my god, my computer makes so much noise, it is so loud, but that should not matter because we are going to go on the training grind. We're going to be training Dugdrio to level 100 this episode. All we are doing this episode is training. I am getting ready for that final battle, and I hope that you guys are as well. Uh, my render distance is not that great because uh, I'm on far, that's why. I'm going to go to normal, and we are going to be training a lot this episode, guys, so be prepared, be on the lookout. And I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to train. Well, basically, my only tip for how to train on Pokeballers Pixelmon Island is head to the Wastelands. That's where all the high-level Pokemon are. And try to get on at a time when not too many people are on. Well, a decent amount of people because you want, you want Pokemon to spawn, but you don't want too many so that they take all your Pokemon. You know, I hate it when people just steal your Pokemon. Oh, Machamps! Machamps are always level 60, so they are always good experience. Oh my god, this little beautiful Machamp, this four-armed Machamp. I'm going to take him down with an Earthquake. And my Dugdrio is going to be level 93. And I'm going to get out a, a quick Poke Hill. That's what I get from getting my, my, my uh, donator, donator ranks. And now we are going to be on that Dugdrio training grind. Let's see what else is there. Oh, Abra, you know what? Oh, he teleported! No! Oh, Salamence. I don't know if, I don't know if um, he can take him out, but you know who can? My Salamence can take you out, Salamence. I bet my Salamence can. Dragon Claw! Attack with your claws, Dragon Claw. Oh, he... I'm paralyzed. No. No. And he's using Fly. Wow. What a nub. What a noob. Guys, if you're wondering what new microphone I got, I got a Blue Yeti microphone. I know they're expensive, but I thought it was worth it. I really thought it was worth it. So I, I botched down the 100 bucks for this microphone, and I am loving it so far. It sounds so beautiful. The voice is so clear. It is so crisp. It is so clean. It is amazing, guys. You guys don't know how awesome this new microphone is, and I'm going to be recording all my future commentaries with it. And also, guys, my computer has been ordered. It will be ready on June 20th, or maybe June 21st. So hopefully by then... Well, hopefully by then, I'll have a lot more videos, of course. We're going to be banging some out on this little MacBook. And that's when my school ends, June 20th. So that's when I get the computer, June 21st. And I cannot wait, guys, to be bringing you two videos a day. Possibly three videos a day. I'm going to be recording so much in the summer. I'm going to be recording a ton. Oh, and I'm still lagging. And I hope you guys really enjoy all my series. I know you guys love Pixelmon. I hope you guys check out my other series as well, though. Because I got a lot of other awesome series, and there's a lot more to Minecraft than just Pixelmon. Pixelmon is not, is, it's amazing. Pixelmon, I'd, I'd say Pixelmon's the best mod. But Pixelmon is not all there is to Minecraft. There's a lot of other fun mods, other, a lot of other fun game types. So be sure to keep on the lookout for those. As I'm gonna put, trying out new mods, doing some mod showcases, doing some Let's Plays with a lot of other awesome YouTubers. Ooh, Agrons are tons of XP. Why am I leveling Cloyster? No, I gotta level Dugdrio. Level Dugdrio. Ah, uh, Earthquake! Earthquake, Dugdrio! I'm taking you out. Uh, guys, I'm still a little bit sick, so that's why I am nasally. I apologize, but I want to give you this episode because I love each and every single one of you. And I hope you guys love it when I put out these videos even though I'm sick. I love it when I... I love it when I, you hit that like button. I love it when you smack that red button that says subscribe. And comment down below with any suggestions. That would be amazing, guys, if you guys could do that. You know it makes my heart go pitter-patter. And I reply to every single comment and every single personal message. So be sure to keep doing that because you guys have been awesome so far doing that. And also, guys, I got a lot of requests from a couple people to do a Pixelmon Gotta Catch Em All series. I wouldn't call it Gotta Catch Em All because that's kind of copying. But maybe something a little bit different. Maybe only Kanto Pokemon. So I start out with a Porygon and then I got to catch every single Kanto Pokemon that would be awesome. I don't know how many episodes it would go, but we can, we can, I can mess around in the config settings and make that happen. If you guys want to see that, maybe a solo series, maybe with one other person, a gotta catch them all series for only Kanto. We would call probably call it like Pokemon Master 
catching the 120, 151 original Pokemon. I used to, I used to only think there were 150. To be honest with you, I never knew. I didn't know Mew existed until, um, till I was like, till like Leaf Green and Fire Red came out. I know I'm a bit of a nub, but I'm just telling you the truth, guys. I didn't know Mew existed. It was impossible to get. I was like three years old, so I did not know about Mew. Come on, Doug Drio. We are grinding on the man. I'm telling you, man. Wastelands is the place to train. But guys, if you would want to see a gotta catch them all series, a gotta catch them all. 151 original Pokemon. I would catch every single Pokemon for however many episodes it would go on for. I would not stop. I promise you guys, I would finish that series if you guys would want to see it. If you guys would want to see it, just let me know and I will be sure to give you that content. Let me know how you'd want to see it with maybe one other YouTuber or by myself because I can go solo. I love going rogue. Actually, I don't. I love having my buddies, having some friends, but I can go rogue as well if you want me to. And I'm just taking out everything with my Doug Drio right now. Taking out absolutely everything. These cadavers, I don't even care, man. I'm just taking everything out. My Doug Drio is just on that training grind, that leveling grind. My Doug Drio will not be beat. In this tournament, I, I'm telling you, Doug Drio is going to be the best Pokemon on my team. Earthquake! Sorry about that, guys. My mouth was a little bit parched. Had to get some water. And now we are back. About to take out this Alakazam. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, there are so many good levels in the desert. There are so many good levels. Uh, I, I really think I can get to level 100 this episode. I hope I can get to 100, but I really think I can. Yo, look at these Machamp. Level 60s for days, man. We taking out all these poke. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of, um, oh, I gotta hope for the Fissure. Hit Fissure. Oh, it's a one hit KO. Let's go. 94. Yep, if I, I think if I only, I think that if I only train Doug Drio this episode, I can really get him to level 100. That would be absolutely wonder. It would be absolutely fantastic if I could get Doug Trio to level 100. I know you guys love Doug Trio. Well, maybe you don't, but I love Doug Trio. And I hope you guys love Doug Trio because he's my favorite Pokemon. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. Obviously, he's so cute. He's such a little cutie pie. My Doug Trio. Oh, wow, Articuno. Oh, yeah, guys. Lego TV Master finally responded, and I got him his Articuno just a little bit earlier today. That was awesome. That he finally made a Skype and messaged me. And guys, if you haven't got your uh, giveaway Pokemon yet, um, be sure to message me as well uh, with your Skype name and everything, so I can get your giveaway Pokemon. And also, there's a shiny Driftlet my giveaway. Oh, and we have to do a giveaway this episode, don't we? Uh, I'm gonna be giving away a Master Ball. A Master Ball is what I will be giving away this episode. So be sure to leave in the comments your in-game name and your Skype account, or message them to me. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel and you like the video and you can win a Master Ball. Unless you want something else. You want something else in my party? Maybe a hammer. I'll give away a hammer. Oh, I think I think this other uh, lightning orb is full. Maybe I can catch another Zapdos to give away another Zapdos. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, Boulder. Let's take out this Boulder. Oh, why am I using Cloyster, man? No. Cloyster. My Cloyster is tiny. Oh, Gigalith. I can take him out with Doug Drio. Oh, he stole it with his Venusaur. No. No. Let's see what else we can take. Well, that, guy, that, Venusaur, didn't, that Venusaur was 87 and didn't even one hit the Gigalith. Wow, that is embarrassing. That is that is not an EV trained Venusaur, I can tell. A wrongly EV trained Venusaur or whatever. Ooh, Crustles. Yeah, Crustles. I love Crustles. Thing is, they're always level 2. <laughs> they're always level two. That's it's a little glitch in the game. Hopefully they'll fix that by the next update. And guys, I cannot wait until Pixelmon 3.1. I've seen a sneak preview of some of the items and some of the features that are going to be added, and I absolutely cannot wait for that. I am looking forward to that so much. Double battles are going to be implemented. That's going to be amazing. Hopefully when our server goes up live, uh, we're not sure. We still need names for the server as well, guys. So be sure to let us know what you want us to name the server. We're thinking of Mangomon. Mango Monsters. Ooh, Coffee Rules sent me a message. Message Coffee Rules. Hey, are you a beautiful mango? Hey guys, it's awesome that you guys keep on messaging me. I don't even, I don't even know, uh, you, how, I don't even know how you know I'm online, but you guys keep messaging me and it's amazing. I don't type anything in the chat, but you guys are always messaging me, telling me your subscribers. Uh, What's your YouTube name? I am recording now. 
Let's see what this guy is. Maybe he's a beautiful mango. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's lying about it. Uh, let's see. Let's see what his reply is going to be. Hopefully he is a beautiful mango. And if he is, then I'll give him that master ball right now. I, I don't even care anymore. I will give him that master ball because all you beautiful mangoes deserve it. You deserve that master ball. I can't record though. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, come to Wastelands for a master ball. Or is he right there? No, that, that's not him. I'm recording now. Okay, let's see what else we can take out. Oh, Salamence is not fully speed EV trained, so I gotta take out some speed Pokemon for Salamence, but I also want to get Dugtree to level 100. Awesome. Thanks. Um, oh, oopsie. Awesome, thanks. Yeah, guys, it's absolutely awesome how you guys keep messaging me. You even know who I am. We're over 300 subscribers now. You guys, I've, we've been doing YouTube for two weeks. We're over 300 subscribers. You guys don't know how awesome that is. And also, in the tutorial video, man, I think it's a terrible video. Like, I think it's probably some of my worst work uh, on YouTube. It was my first video. Everyone's got to start somewhere, you know, but... 1500 views and like 70 likes that is absolutely crazy I'm, I'm, I'm mind blown by that like you guys you guys keep watching that video even though I think it's a pretty bad video I might do a, another uh, I think they're gonna switch up where the chests are so maybe on season two of pokeballers pick some on out and I'll do another um, tutorial video showing you where all the items are if I can find them if I can find them that is I might be really busy this summer but hopefully I'm gonna be doing that for you guys as well and any other tutorial videos for finding anything else on Pixelmon or anything else. Yep. Um, anything on Pixelmon or anything else. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you want to see any tutorials or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm recording. Yeah, let me know. Oh, hi, Coffee Rolls. Here, you can have a Master Ball. Take it! Take the Master Ball! Message Coffee rules thank you for being a beautiful mango okay yeah coffee rules is i bet he's a beautiful mango i don't know never seen him comment in my videos but i bet he will after this video because he just got a free master ball i love each and every single one of you guys so just message me saying you're a beautiful mango or you're a beautiful subscriber and i'll be sure to give you something anything you want if I have it it is yours trust me on that guys it will be yours I, I think we are uh, oh he's my Abba's favorite youtuber uh, uh, oops <laughs> I messed up the heart uh, you make my heart go pitter patter Awesome. Yeah, wow, that's so nice that he I'm his favorite YouTuber. That's amazing. Oh, I, I never even imagined that. I've been doing YouTube for two weeks. And someone just told me that just made my day. That just made me so happy. You're the best. Oh my god. Guys, that actually just made me so happy. You don't even know how happy that made me. I was having a little bit of a rough day yesterday. But today, that has all changed because of this one person's comment. You guys don't know how much that means to me when you guys do that. So be sure to keep supporting my channel, supporting my videos, and giving supportive comments because that will make my heart go pitta patta. And you guys know that it will also slap in that like button does that. Every single time I see those likes go up, it is amazing. You guys don't know how awesome all your support has been. It's been so great. We are still training the Doug Drio grind. We are on the, oh, a Haunter. That is some good XP. I'm gonna need to take a little bit of some water. I need some water right now. My throat is parched because I am still sick. So one second, guys, earthquake. All right, what do we do next? What are we gonna find next? Uh, oh, I can, my computer froze, no. My computer, oh, I'm back. I am good. It always does that, but I always come back and I'm gonna be taking out some magic carbs with my salamance. We're gonna be getting some, uh, what's it called? Speed EVs, we're gonna be getting speed EVs right now. Hopefully, if salamance can take, if salamance can't take out this magic carp, you gotta go. And we took it out. So salamance is in good shape for now on the team. Salamance 
is in good shape. I, I remember I had a Salamance in my Leaf Green game. I, I remember someone stole my Leaf Green game. And then I got it back. It was like in third grade. I told the teacher someone stole my Leaf Green game with like 300 hours. And then I got him in trouble. I was a little bit of a tattletale, I'm not going to lie. And then I was a little bit of a, a class count clown a little bit later on in life. But I guess, I guess it, it's helped me out a little bit. I got a... It's, it's made, uh, gave me like a funny personality, I guess. I don't know, people think I'm funny. I don't, I don't know if I'm funny. If you guys think I'm funny, let me know. Because I, I would love to be funny. I always wanted to be funny. I always wanted to be funny. And right now, we have got to get Doug Drio to level 100. Uh, maybe 95 this episode. We have got to get Doug Drio to level 95. So we got to take out some Alakazams right now. Come on, Alakazam. Alakazam! Oh my god, that's actually that's actually how it sounded like in the uh in the Pokemon's in, in the, Oh my god, the Pokemon episode with Sabrina's gym. Um The Pokemon that was so scary. That gave me nightmares as a kid. If that gave you nightmares as a kid, let me know as well. Whatever your favorite Pokemon episodes were, I used to watch so much Pokemon as a little kid. I wanna be the very best. That no one like I just heard that song, the, the intro song a couple days ago. And I was in tears. It just it brought back my whole childhood. That was my I would come home from school and just watch some old reruns of Pokemon. Pokemon was the best. Pokemon the first movie, oh my god. Pokemon Lugia movie, 2000. And then the third one has like Entei in it. Oh, that's that brings back the memories, man. That does bring back the memories. Let's see how far the Drio is from leveling up. He's almost there. I believe we're about 15 minutes into this episode, so maybe 10 more minutes of training. We went a little bit over last episode. So I don't want to go too far over 30 this episode. Maybe around 25 minutes seems good for an episode 6 of Pokeballers Picks them on Island. And if you guys would like to see me play, uh, post any on any other servers, any other Pokeballer servers, I can be down to do that. I haven't, I still haven't beaten the Elite Four in the Region 1 server. I have all level 100s, but I have not beaten the Elite Four. So if you want to see me uh, post a video or post a couple videos running through the Elite Four, You'd be interested in that, let me know as well. But guys, I would be really excited to do a Gotta Catch Em All series. I'm not kidding. That seems like a lot of fun. Just building everything from scratch, catching every Pokemon from scratch, maybe having a friend in there so I could trade to evolve, maybe having him there from the beginning, maybe having one of you beautiful subscribers join me. That would be amazing. I don't know, that would be awesome to have a Gotta Catch Em All series. I don't know. I, I love Craft Battle Duty series on that. I think that's one of the, no, 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 it wasn't that they got me into Pixelmon, but like, I learned a lot about Pixelmon from that series, like, about all the different types of stones and how many Pokemon are actually in Pixelmon. I, I think I have a pretty good handle on what is in Pixelmon. It's a pretty good uh, idea of all the Pokemon. Hopefully they're going to add some more in 3.1. Hopefully they add a lot more. I'd be interested in them adding a lot more Pixelmon. Who is this guy? Let's see who this guy is. Mark Mander. Mark Mander, you are beautiful. If you are a beautiful mango, that is. All right, we're going to be taking out this Haunter right here. Let's go. Let's take out Haunter. Earthquake. My Dick Drill is so good. Oh, 9 to 5. Let's go. I think we can get out a couple more levels on Doug Drill. I want to get him all the way to 100. I got, a, I got 12 rare candies, so hopefully I can get him to level 100. If you guys want to... Lend me some extra rare candies. That would be awesome as well. But of course, of course, I'll give you something in return. I'll give you a fair trade. I, I just threw away all my um, my orbs. I had like ten orbs. <laughs> I just threw them on the ground for someone to pick up a little bit earlier. Oh, uh, we can catch a zap. No, we can't catch a Zapdos because I just gave away my last Master Ball. All right. So if you want, if anyone wants a full Zapdos orb, just let me know. That's what we'll give away this episode: a full Zapdos orb. And you can go catch a Zapdos. So let me know if you want that full Zapdos orb with your in-game name, Skype name. And make sure you're subscribed to the Iron Mangoes channel. Make sure you jump aboard the Iron Mango Express. That's that's a new slogan. Oh my god, that Abra sound just it creeps me out, man. I'm serious. That Abra sound creeps me out so much. Yeah, guys, that's a new little slogan I made. The Iron Mango Express or Mango Nation. Hashtag Mango Nation. Be awesome if you guys could... Follow me on Twitter and keep on writing hashtag Mango Nation. Hopefully we can get that as one of the uh, the top hashtags. Of course we won't, but it would be awesome if any of you guys actually do hashtag Mango Nation or hashtag the Iron Mango Express. That would be awesome. It would make my day if you guys do that. 
Uh, there's really nothing in the wasteland right now. Maybe maybe we need a change of scenery. No, wasteland's the best place to train. But we are still going to get a change of scenery right now. Let's go to the volcano. Warp volcano. Yeah, we're going to get a... Oh, some Alakazams. We're going to be getting a change of scenery right now. A very beautiful change of scenery. Let's go. Let's take out this Alakazam. How about 96 for this episode, I think? And that will be the episode today. Oh, I killed the wrong Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll get to 96 on Alakazam. Once we get to 96, uh, not Alakazam, on Doug Trio. My Doug, I, I always call it Doug Drio, not Doug Trio. I, I'm, not, I'm still not sure exactly what it is. Oh, look at that Seedra right there. I love Seedra. I, I wish, oh, hopefully they add Kingler. I, I really hope they add Kingler. Kingler was one of my favorite Pokemon. If they add Kingler in the next update, I am definitely going to be doing that. Oh, and guys, our Pixelmon server, trial builders will have tryouts this weekend. If there's still time to apply, but this weekend, starting on June the 13th or four, June 14th, I believe, will be when trial builders start. So you guys can all apply. I'll have a link below in the description. It'll be awesome to have a lot of you guys working on the server. We, are, we have already decided what the server is going to be. It's going to be some sky islands, maybe some water islands, regular in the water, and then a glass dome with an island underwater. And then gyms on each island with quests and bridges and everything. And you got to complete the quest to get to the next island. And gym leaders are going to be able to fully customize their gyms. They'll be able to talk to the builders. There will be head gym leaders and then co-gym leaders, helpers, all that stuff. And the donation ranks or, or any ranks. We're going to have mangoes in the words. So we need some ideas for do donation ranks. Maybe the iron mango, diamond mango, gold mango, wooden mango, dirt mango, <laughs> dirt mango, stone mango, stuff like that. Or maybe like mango master, mango maniac, mango trainer, anything you guys want. Just let me know in the comment section below because we are going to make this server all about you guys. It's going to be all about the community, a place where I can play with each and every single one of you. Because I love each and every single one of you guys, and I wanna, I wanna show my. Oh, what's that Pokeball doing right there? I wanna show how much I've been, I've been so thankful for your support. I wanna show it by making a server for all you guys to play on. That'll be awesome, absolutely amazing to play with you guys. Let's see what else we can take out. Let's try to get Doug Drio to level 96, boy. We gotta get Doug Drio on that Doug Drio grind. Let's try it out. Let's see what else we can take out, man. We gotta take some more Pokemon out. Let's see Doug Drio. Doug Drio, Radita, these are good for my Salamance. Come on, let's go. These are both good for my Salamance. We gotta get some speed EVs. Hopefully after this episode, we'll be fully EV trained. So then all we gotta do until the final battle is going to be to um, just train. Just uh, plop some Lucky Eggs on and then train for a while. The uh, I, I believe the... F oh my god, Radita, get in my Pokeball! Radita! I need to fight you and I froze again like my computer is so bad. Why is this guy throwing me Pokeballs? I don't want your Pokeballs. No. Message. Oh, it's it's Vice Viper. I don't need them. You know, I'm just going to go catch some Raditas. Yeah, that's how we're going to finish up this episode. Catch as many Raditas as possible. Let's see. Oh, come on. Radita, get him my Pokeball! Did I really? Oh, I got it. I got one. I got a Radita. Awesome. I got a Radita. Hopefully. I think I got a Radita. I think I got a Radita. I am not sure. Hopefully, we caught a Radita. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, no. I am still in the middle of Mango Nation. Alright, guys. Hope, oh, did we catch that Radita? I don't think so. I don't think we caught it. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to get Doug Drio to level 96, and then I believe that will be the episode for today. Hopefully, in the next episode, we can get Doug Drio to level 100. Vice Viper is an awesome guy. He's an awesome guy. He says, hi, Mangoes. So I hope you guys all say hi back to Vice Viper. He doesn't really record YouTube videos, but he's been a great support on the channel. He's in the last subscriber battles. Hopefully, we can do another subscriber battle soon enough. Hopefully you guys would all want to be a part of that because I know I would love to have a lot of you guys battle a lot of you guys. That would be absolutely amazing if we could battle like 10 to 20 of you guys in an episode. I don't know how long the episode would be, but we would do it for a subscriber special. Maybe for episode 10 we will shoot for that. This is episode 6 yet. This is episode 6, so maybe episode 10 we would do a subscriber battle. So hopefully we can get to around episode 15 by the time of the final tournament. The tournament I think starts on June 21st actually. 
I think they changed it from um, they changed it from the 23rd to the 21st through the 23rd that entire weekend because a lot of people couldn't make it on the 23rd because it's a Monday. So I think they changed it. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what some people were talking about. So hopefully we can record a lot of episodes of that. Hopefully I can battle a lot of you guys. Hopefully you're getting ready. I know I'm getting ready. I know Vice Vipers is getting ready, man. Vice Vipers is definitely ready for that. He is def- I don't need the... No! I don't need the Pokeballs. All right, let's see what else we got to do here. I never knew what, if any of you guys know what to do on the ships, let me know. Because that would be awesome. I really have no clue what to do on the ships. See how close Doug Drio is. Oh, he's not even close. We got to go to the Wastelands, I think. Yeah, we got to finish out these levels in the way. I got to kill the Sea King. And then we are going to finish out these levels in the Wasteland. And then that is going to be the episode. Episode 6 of Pokeballs Picks them on out. And if you like the video, be sure to slap that lickety lack button as Bill TJ likes to say. We have an awesome new series coming out soon so be sure to stay tuned for that as well and be sure to hit that little red button that says subscribe if you like my videos at all it's been amazing all the support you guys have shown and also if you could tell your friends to check out the channel that would be absolutely fantastic i'm trying to think of some new words i need some new catchphrases some new catchphrases to say so if you have any that you'd like me to say just let me know no that was mine I'm going to catch you, Abra. I'm just going to be catching random Pokemon. Let's see. Why do people keep dropping Pokeballs? Oh, I'm going to catch this Charmeleon. Let's go. Charmeleon. I'm going to catch you. Oh, Hitmonchan. That is some good XP. All level 28. Nah, it's not too good XP. But we're going to be getting the Drigo to 96 this episode, guys. I promise you, we will be getting the Drigo to level 96. I know we're about 25 minutes in and I don't want to go over 30. But we are going to be getting the Drigo to 96. We need to have a goal every single episode, and this goal was level 96 for Doug Trio. Let me take out this Machoke right here. This Machoke. Oh yeah, guys, we're gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to have either another account or someone like a private server or something for the Gotta Catch Them All series or How to Be a Pokemon Master series. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. I think that's gonna be what I'm calling it. Um, if you guys want to see that, let me know. But I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna do it because a lot of you guys were wanting to see that. So let me know. But I think I'm gonna do it. And if we do it, though, I think we would have to have one other person because I'm going to have to trade my Pokemon to Evolve them. Like, Machoke, I know it's only Kanto, but Machoke needs to be traded to Evolve, um, Gengar, or Haunter, and uh, there's one other one. Oh my god, I can't even think of it right now. What else needs to be traded to Evolve? Alakazam! There might have been a fourth one. I think there was a fourth one, too. Oh, Golem, Golem. Graveler and Golem. Oh, I'm just thinking the fossil Pokemon are going to be hard to find. I'm going to have to go mining... Awesome, but that that seems like it would be a lot of fun. So let me know if you want to see that. Let's see if we can find any more Pokemon before the end of this episode and get Degdrio to level 96. Hopefully we can. Let's see what else there is. Wow, that these these all these name tags are so colorful. All my chests that I found, man, they're so colorful. They they with this wasteland lights, it's just like the it's like the northern lights. I said I just see beautiful colors everywhere, and that I'm not trying to emphasize something else right now but i see beautiful colors i see very beautiful colors why are there no pokemon spawning in the wasteland wow there are actually no pokemon in the wasteland that is great besides aerodactyls and aerodactyls of course i cannot kill so guys i think well, let's see how close the is uh i can't even see oh I, he's close enough yeah we'll get the drill to 96 I, I was thinking of ending the episode right there but i think we can find some pokemon hopefully we can find some pokemon and get Doug Drio to 96, because I would love it if we only need... Oh! Here, Queen Link. Level 56. That is going to be some mad levels for Doug Trio. That is going to be... Oh, and I don't even have Earthquake anymore. Come on, Fissure hit. Oh, one hit KO. Awesome. 4,000 XP. See, guys? 4,000 XP for killing one Pokemon, and I'm level 95. That is how awesome the Wastelands are to train in. If you guys need training tips or anything like that, just head over to the Wastelands. There is some awesome training to be found there. Oh, guys, and also, let's see how much money I have. Money. 31000 I have $31,000. I am looking for a Shadow Ball TM. If you have a Shadow Ball TM, let me know so I can put that on my Alakazam. I can put that on my, um, maybe some other Pokemon. But I'll give you $30,000 if you can trade me a Shadow Ball TM. I know money's kind of worthless because everything's going to be reset, but maybe you can buy another TM that you want with that money because I really need a Shadow Ball TM. 
or maybe a flamethrower team for my Volcarona. Uh, can Cloyster learn flamethrower? I don't. I don't think Cloyster can learn flamethrower, but. Yeah, I might need a flamethrower TM, so... Oh, I forgot to even put... Uh, Al I just traded the Luxray for Articuno a little bit earlier today. Forgot to put Alakazam back in the party. For Oh, and Kirby, I need your your um, Skype, too, for Moltres. I want to give you that Moltres, and I want to give... It tricks us that Zapdos. So be sure to message me with your Skype, or message me on Skype at the Iron Mango, so I can we can work out a time to get you that... Um, What's it called? Leg those legendary birds. Right now, I think this Bisharp will get us to 96, hopefully. It's a little 58 Bisharp. Let's see. And we are 96, boys. Boys and girls, we are level 96. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to be going up to this Tiki Hut, going into F5 mode. F1 mode, I, I believe. Yep, F1 mode, and then F5 mode, and then we're going to get a, a nice, beautiful view of this hut. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, my beautiful mangoes, for watching episode 6 of Pokeballers. Pixelmon Island series with the Iron Mango. Hopefully you enjoyed it enough to smack that like button and subscribe to my channel down below in the description as well as check out all my awesome, my other awesome series. That would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and safe day.